Hey guys, just want to do a quick video to show you different ways you can control the CNC software connected to your Acorn motion controller. Um, you can use a keyboard, you can use a touch screen, or if you don't have a touch screen, you can use a mouse. And then you can also use a USB pendant. The other option, of course, is using the touch panel. We're already in home minus, so here's Y positive, X positive, Z negative. We'll bring it all the way down. It's tool check. And we can reset home. Now I'm going to show you the X keys pendant, and it's a USB pendant, by the way. Right now, the one that that's being used or and commercially available to you is the X keys 24 pendant. Um, you can buy them from Amazon. You can buy them from a number of different places. Um, it's the X keys 24. It's made by PI Engineering Incorporated. Um, these keycaps pop off and you can put these little legends under there which you'll notice really mimic the uh, the virtual control panel. Let me zoom you in here so you can get a better look. Okay there you can see all the keys on the X keys 24 and you can see the virtual com control panel there on the right and uh, it mimics most of the keys on the virtual control panel but because there's only 24 keys on X keys 24 it, obviously can't do everything that's on uh, VCP. So in order to use it, we're going to go into the wizard real quick. And here's the wizard. <clears throat> and under spindle setup, it says USB jog panel. We're going to say yes to enable it. I'm going to write the settings. We'll say yes. OK. We're going to exit that. Okay, let's go ahead and start the software. Okay, because I exited the software and Acorn was still powered up, I have to cycle the e-stop. I can use the virtual e-stop or I can hit the e-stop on the machine to do that. Okay, and then to activate the screen, I'm just gonna click anywhere on the screen. Let's use the X keys keypad. We hit keypad enable, and you'll notice it says USB jog panel active. We should be able to jog the machine now. Z minus, Z plus, let's do tool check. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start the program from here. I've got a simple test program in the machine. Let's do a feed hold. Okay, so it's basically just stops the machine where it's at. Now we can restart it. And it continues on where it left off. We could stop it. And we restart the program when you hit the stop. Okay, that gives you an idea of the X keys keypad and, and what it's capable of doing. Um, you can adjust your feed rates here. You can go incremental. You can change the incremental rate here. You have programmable auxiliary keys. Um, you can manually start and stop the spindle um, from X keys. So it's, it's versatile. It, you know, if you have to set up a part, um, you can also incrementally jog. So 
you see right now we're in the incremental mode so we're going to jog down we're in thousands you can see the z-axis changing now we're in tenths and now we're in hundredths here's x back to tenths so when you're setting up a part zero this could be very handy you could take the the uh, the pendant to your machine and help you get your part zero set up all right let's go over just the keyboard in order to use the keyboard to control and say that's all you had you press alt j and you see it brings up a legend here and it basically gives you all the keyboard shortcuts that are available to you so if you want to go from continuous to incremental you hit control i and watch up here it's control i now we've gone into incremental basically if you want to toggle from uh, hundreds to tenths to thousands you press the delete key and the insert key and you can see them toggling right here okay up arrow is x is x minus and you can see since we're in thousands we're incrementing in thousands let's go ahead and go into continuous control i we're just using the up and down arrow for y and then the left right arrows for x and the page up page down for z and to toggle from our speed from slow to fast you hit control f and now we're in the slow mode and then the cycle start button is alt s um, let's bring the z down and we'll show the tool check which is control t and it basically sends it home um, again all the sh keyboard shortcuts are right on these labels okay so that's using the keyboard if we want to get out of this screen we do an alt j and let's just use the mouse on the virtual control panel so we're in the slow mode so y x there's z bring it down i'm going tool check send z home and again there's your cycle start button if you want to go in single block mode you can do that here if you need to stop the program you can do it here and again here's your auxiliary buttons if you have them programmed these are all pre-programmed um, if you want to reset home you can do that here you can hear my machine going to its home position Okay, it's back to its home position. I hope you find this video useful.